Knox County School Board approved the addition of a new school to their system. The school is the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, or STEM, Academy. The board approved this concept of this school on Wednesday evening. Board member India Kincannon strongly agreed with the concept of the STEM school. Kincannon had this to say. Um, and also to me this echoes of an effort back in the 90s when um, the school system attempted to open a university high school. But the trade-off at that time was to close down Fulton and Austin East and the community, there was a community uproar and that trade-off was not considered uh, a good one. Uh, so to me this is a long time coming and it's What's so especially amazing is that we're going to possibly be able to start a new school, a non-traditional new pathway to excellence and rigor, and the trade-offs are pretty minimal. Although the concept was approved, the funding, staffing, and transportation issues are not fully worked out. Board member Cindy Buttry wanted more concrete information about the previous issues. Buttry said, There isn't necessarily a budget summation attached to this concept that the public and myself have a little more understanding about how we plan on funding this. The school system is receiving startup costs of $2 million from the $500 million in federal Race to the Top Education Funds awarded to Tennessee. After federal funding runs out, the district is responsible for funding the school. Superintendent Dr. Jim McIntyre explained to Buttry that the costs for the school are not set in stone and they have more work to do to find the precise costs. Buttry still did not want to pass the motion due to lack of details. It just seems to me that if you want, if you're trying to get support for an idea, and I support the idea and, a, and, and the concept, it goes back to what I was saying, the devil's in the details, and in order for me to be able to explain it and understand it, I can't do that right now. I can't go back to my constituents and say, and justify to them voting for a concept that having no clue what the transportation cost is going to be for it. In the end, this motion passed 8 to 1.